Welcome to this first lecture in our Window Features section. In this video we're going to cover what Window Features are and what we're going to cover in this section as a whole. So let's dive straight in. In the previous section we introduced this notion of a lag feature. A lag feature is a feature we create where we use the past value of the target or feature itself to create a new feature. So here we have an example where we create a feature with lag 1 where we're using directly the previous value of our target time series. A natural question to extend this would be to ask can we summarize more than just one past value into a single feature? So rather than just looking at the previous value, can we look at more values? And this is exactly what a window feature does. A window feature is where we compute some summary statistic, for example the mean, the min or the max, over a window of the past data, so we're summarizing more than just the previous value. And so for example we could compute the mean over the past three values and that would be a window mean feature that we can create in this manner shown here. So we've shown that we can create a window feature from the target, but you could also create window features from other features. Over here we have the advertising spend, and we might also use several historic values of the advertising spend to create a window feature with. So here we have the window mean of the past three values. So that gives us some intuition about what window features are all about. They summarize more than a single past value, and instead we will compute a statistic over multiple past values to capture some interesting information from either the target variable or other features. And so this means that there are many things to discuss. So in this section, we'll be discussing things like how do we choose what our window size should be, and which statistics should we compute over that window. We'll introduce different types of window, for example rolling windows and expanding windows. We'll also discuss about adding weights to our windows, for example exponential weights which allows us to do exponential smoothing. And then we'll show how to implement all of these methods in concrete examples in Python. And so I look forward to seeing you in the various lectures in this section of the course. See you then.